What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm here with the one, the only, cameraman. Alf. Yeah, I guess he's cameraman, but he's also Alpha YGO. And uh, the reason we're doing this profile is he actually came first place at uh, a locals the other day and I uh, was with RDA of all decks. And, and this is actually legit. I, I have a clip of this. I'm, I'm gonna put it in now. I wanna show you guys. He's legit on it. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> He's in the finals. XO right now. A few moments later. Is that XO Red Dragon Archfiend Alpha YGO? Yes, it is. So yeah, he came first place with RDA, which is absolutely insane. Now, you were mentioning to me that this deck gets new support, and when it does get new support, you're gonna be showing off all the combos, all the deck profiles, all that stuff on your channel. So make sure to go check out Alpha YGO. I'll leave a link to uh, his channel in the description. But with that being said, you wanna get right into it? So I guess I preface, wait, should I just show the cards? Yeah, I'll just show off the cards first. Okay, so starting off, we're on three Soul Resonator. This is the probably best card in your deck, the starter. Three Crimson Gaia to get into it. The Resonator Call to also get into it. Uh, two of the new Stone Sweeper, we'll talk about this card a little bit more and why we're only playing two of it, but this also gets into your best card. A Foolish Burial because alongside cards like Vision Resonator, it also gets you into your best card. Um, there are a lot of other good things to send with Foolish Burials, which we'll talk about a little bit later. For the other Resonators, we are on one Synchron and one Crimson. Typically, you only really need the one Synchron. Sometimes people run, like to run more than one copy of this, but as you can tell with the Resonator, two Stone Sweeper, and just being able to search it off of this card. And people sometimes ask why only one, but you have so many ways to access it, like Foolish will get you into a Stone Sweeper will, Resonator Call, off your normal summon. You could also just dump it off of your Armageddon Knight of the deck, which is Mr. Bones. So you just have infinite ways to get into Crimson, which gets you into like really big, strong combos. But you only need to see one of it because by itself, it doesn't really do anything. But when paired with other cards like, Supe, like the Supi package, it's incredibly potent because these two cards let you play through like Nibiru and Dimension Shifter. You really want to find a hand where you can like get Supi plus uh, Crimson Resonator in circulation. But again, you have so many ways to get into Crimson, you only need one of it. In terms of some other utility fiends, we have Uvu. This is a really crazy card because it's what gives you the grind game. It gives you resiliency to hand traps. Even seeing it in hand doesn't feel bad because you have cards at this card. And this is where the kind of meme of the event kind of came to came to light because this list specific list was just a test list I had on DB. I didn't even know we were going to locals that day. This was just like a a theoretical list meant for the new cards to come out. So I had to actually cut that new card and I couldn't find another replacement. So I decided to run this guy. He's actually pretty good. It does come up where when you have like some resonators on the field, it just springs itself out and makes you into a red rising, which is really powerful. I should have just cut this card because we're like well past 40, we're at like a 46 like list. And I did not need to run this card, but the new card is meant to be able to search this, but I don't have that new card. So I don't know why I ran this. So. Oh, so you just, did it ever come up at least? Uh, no, I didn't see it because in the, because, uh, for the people who don't know that new card makes it so your soul resonator or any copy of soul resonator gets you into that new card. That new card gets you into red rain. So this card is like represented by all these cards, right? It's actually like when you won one of this, it's actually running like eight copies of it. But again, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because we don't have that new card. You're playing the old guy. Yeah. So we don't have that new card. So I just played it. I don't know why I did. I, it just, I mean, it was there but um, it was just kind of funny to, to have uh, done that. Uh, red Zone, I really like Red Zone. I've learned to appreciate this card a lot more. Initially, it's just this really powerful card that lets you have an infinite grind game, especially with Uvu Loop. Because let's say you typically make like Abyss and this pattern, right? Let's say those two cards get outed. You can just go Uvu Loop to banish both of them, let's say, right? You can go Red Zone to summon your Disc Pattern and your Disc Pattern to summon back the Abyss. Your board just keeps coming back every turn. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's just crazy. To, and then um, I've kind of learned to make more use out of Crimson Gaia where if any of your monsters or any monster for that matter is just destroyed by battle or card effect, you just get to summon your RDA back from Grave, which turns this back into a, like kind of like a Dryden. And people kind of don't recognize that part of the interaction that much, right? So you just get free interaction out of nowhere because of this card. Adjacent to that, we have three Prosperity. Prosperity is just really powerful for obvious reasons. And just a suite of non-engines such as Cross Out, Call by the Grave, three Ash Blossom, three Veiler, three Niv, and three Imperm. This was just in theory. These, these cards are just supposed to be like the best ones into, into the format. And Cross Out and Prost have additional synergy because your normal combo sometimes doesn't banish. 
so your disc pattern doesn't actually have an interaction up yet. So these cards artificially get you something banished, so at least it's a pop oh, at the very least. Oh, nice. Um, that's why I kind of like it. Because you're not this deck's not really a pros deck. Like you can banish for six. Usually you're doing it when you're more desperate for banishing six. Banishing three is still decent though. Like you can get into anything here, right? And it's just so easy to find like a one card starter to get your entire plays going. But yeah, this is a 46 card list. Again, it was highly theoretical. Things will change as you move on. But for the most part, I think the logic of all these card choices is pretty much stays intact. Um, again, don't run this if you're not going to play the new guy. Um, inversely, you will probably replace this with the new guy. And then when you change these cards over here, you'll have probably the more standard list moving on to the next format. But I'll definitely show that off in a few weeks when we get that new card and hopefully I win something again to show it off. So I was going to ask as well, just for the people, because I know I'm going to get this question in the comments. For the non-engine, this is interchangeable with anything depending on the format, right? So like, let's say a different hand trap, like Bell is really good into the format or something else. You can yeah, just yeah. swap these out, right? Yeah. yeah. So the, the thing about this deck is, unfortunately, it with the current cards that exist right now it does lose to hand traps a little bit harder but i will say with the new card that comes out you have more solid anti nibiru lines so you can just like if you can your if your deck can naturally play through nibiru a little bit better you don't have to play cross off in nibiru either right but then if nibiru is naturally good into the next format obviously just you just run it i was just finding that like even going nibiru right now doesn't feel great because you don't get to use crimson resonator that well because crimson resonator you can only control one other dark synchro dragon to use its effect and to special you need an empty field right so it doesn't synergize with nibiru that well to begin with you'll see that like when the deck gets optimized a bit more especially at full power with the new card you can just warp these non engines to like fit it much better. Actually, I forgot to also re uh, mention, so for the two Soul Sweet group, the reason why we're not on three and why it's okay that we're plus 46 is again, like the amount of starters you have, it's actually like quite a lot, right? For the people who play the deck, you kind of know that Bone Archfiend is also like its own pseudo 1.5 card starter. Same with like Foolish into Vision Resonator because this card gets you into this card and this card, sorry, again, just gets you into everything else, right? Like everything is pretty interchangeable. And when you have like non once per turn Rotas and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need three. I was originally playing three. I liked the idea of three, but when I had to start cutting cards down somewhere, it made sense because the redundancy of this started to have some negative uh, downsides to it. When you kind of play with the list, I would reduce the amount of like card counts total and get closer to 40. I wouldn't play 46 again. Again, it was just a kind of a, I, I just pulled my list off DB that I was just practicing with. So <laughs> I would say get it closer to 40. And for the extra deck, this should look a little bit more uh, standard. So red, three red rising because it's the best card. Uh, three scarred, this was not intentional. So essentially, to explain to my cameraman as well, because I'm b borrowing his disc powder. I was originally going to play two disc powder because it makes sense to play a second disc powder. But I was also going to rush for this locals if it wasn't obvious by the list. Uh, I thought this was my disc powder. So I packed the wrong so card. So that's my disc powder? Yeah, that's your disc powder. I was supposed to play a two. second one, ah. but I accidentally thought... <laughs> You thought that was this pattern. But they look the same, you know? Not really. They're both like pink and white. Yeah. And I, I <laughs> Now you're digging a deeper hole for yourself. Uh, yeah. But, um, so, I mean, clearly you only need one this pattern. That's the good news. Okay. Right? I mean, to be fair, I usually bandaged one off Prost and having multiple copies didn't actually feel bad. This card was actually very MVP. Like I didn't appreciate this card that much just because I'm like, oh, it's just like a stepping stone card. It's just a card that gets you into this guy. And then you start making the other big guys like Abyss and etc. But then yeah, no, this guy blowing up the field and triggering your Crimson guy to put up more bodies. In testing, I was able to kill under Prosby with like all these cards. Oh. Yeah, so like you can actually combo to do like close to what, like 16,000 damage. It was really crazy. But for the other one of you play Bane because it does come up. I've stopped making this guy as much. It was much better when Unchained was everywhere because I think into Unchained is a really strong card. But for the most part, he's just here for utility. It's not that important. Uh, Scarlet, funny enough, I needed to OTK and I was like 100 off. So I had to like make a Scarlet at the end of combo to blow up my field just to do enough damage to like end ah. the game. So it does come up. It also synergizes with the Crimson Gaia. I'm now preaching that like Crimson Gaia is like one of the best cards to play around because you just get free 3k bodies over and over. I see with Cobalt, like I, 
heavily disregarded this card for a long time, but it just kept coming up where I'm like, oh wow, this is so free just to go Red Rising plus a Synchron Resonator. You fetch a card back from the uh, Synchron Resonator. It it's just so free to go Red Rising Dragon into the Synchron Resonator. You make this, you pop something, you get to reborn like RDAs off of the Crimson Gaia. That Synchron Resonator you use to make him will get you back like a Vision Resonator. Vision Resonator on top of him will just make you an Abyss. So you get to just keep putting up big bodies. You just keep putting up negates. The damage output is crazy. And we're on the one Peter that I uh, should have been playing two. That I should have been playing two of. But thankfully, my friend, uh, Mr. Cameraman. I'm cameraman today? You're cameraman today. Okay. Uh, thankfully, you remembered to bring it, so I didn't have to play the event without one. Very good. Side deck, I want to see the sauce, I want to see the sauce. You want to see a side deck sauce? Is it, is it even saucy? No. Uh, side deck was very standard. It was like three triple attack, three, uh, well I guess it's two, sorry. Two lightning storm, one duster. Uh, don't mind that it's gold. Three droll, three dark ruler, three evenly. It was just the uh, cards where I'm like, I think my, these were mainly for going second. This was just to insulate myself going first, especially when my hand traps didn't feel that good into the matchup, or that I had a read that my opponent wouldn't be using those hand traps against me, so a cross up didn't feel as good. But then they're also interchangeable. Like there were plenty, I think uh, one of my opponents, I had to steal one of their monsters, and I used it for one of my RDAs just to go for gear. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so the, the stealing for effect is cool, especially when the levels work out, right? So that was really cool. That was not saucy at all. It was not saucy. What do you think it was gonna be in there? I don't know. People really aren't right. You know what? Respect. It's just it's just the best cards in the game that you can play. I mean, they're all... Just I generic mean, board breakers. I mean, thankfully they're all affordable now, right? Yeah. I know, yeah, they're all, uh, they're, these are all rarity collection cards. Well, not the actual prints, but they're like, it's like a, it's like a $20 side deck. That's good, right? Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Alpha, congratulations on your first place. He's gonna have an updated list on his channel soon with the newer cards. And I know you love your RDA and your dragon, so uh, you making a comeback? He's making an official comeback, right? I'm gonna take that as the yes. All right, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, it's Banco and Alpha signing out. Peace.